Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. With Pat McSherry. All right, what a fish. Andy Bioko. Wow. Get the colors on this fish. And Mike Anselmo. Man, he's bumping. This is In-Depth Outdoors. All right. it, huh? yep. Nice long run. Yep. All right, everybody, this is week two here at In-Depth Outdoors. I'm fishing with Pat McSherry, and we're already burning up the gas card pretty good. Uh, last week, which was actually just a couple days ago for us, we were up in northern Minnesota fishing the Rainy River to kick off the start of our season. We basically got that show in the can, ran it back down to Minneapolis, dropped the footage off to an editor, switched cameraman, and hopped right back in the truck to head north. And the reason we did that is we have the absolute shutting of the door to the open water season headed our way. Uh, we have a winter storm that's gonna drop about 12 to 15 inches of snow on northern Minnesota, Ontario, where we're fishing right now. And uh, we're really hoping that that incoming front really kicks some musky action into high gear. One of our goals this year before we got into ice fishing was we wanted to do a musky show. Reason's pretty simple. You don't get to ice fish for muskies. Right. So we wanted to do that species justice and get some big fish in the ice before we're done for the year here open water in the upper Midwest. So that's the goal today. We're out of Crawford's camp. They're on Lake of the Woods. This is where we love to come every year at the end of the season. This is like musky central to us. Pat spends a lot of time up here and I'm fortunate enough that he brings me along at the prime time and that's what we've got going on today. No better time to catch a giant muskie than today. So stick around. I think you're going to love today's show. All right, call it Pat. Who's going to get the first one and how big is it going to be? You are going to catch the first fish and it's going to be a 44 incher. Kind of hoping for more. That's all I got. Just being honest. All right, I'll take it. Something to get my gloves wet and stinky. <laughs> Fish, fish. All right. Ha ha ha. Hooked up, buddy. Yeah, you were wrong about everything. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a side bet on uh, who was going to catch the first one and how big it was going to be. And I guessed it was James with a 44. But you know what? I'm okay about it. How's it feel? Oh, uh, it's not a runt. I'm clearing line here. All right. This line is not all the way out. We try, or at least I try to uh, get these fish in as quick as I can just so they don't have that much time to shake the hooks. Want me at the back there? He was out a little further than I thought. Oh yeah, good fish, James, good fish. Big fish, big fish. That's all we do here is big fish. All right, here she comes, here she comes. Oh, we Boom. own her! Woo! Woo! That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. What a way to start <clears throat> off the day. What have we been trolling, an hour? Unbelievable. I love it. Well, we might have to reposition a little bit just so we don't get blown I got up the, on the I got shore. the rod in the net if you want to get us off the rocks. Okay. People at home, I tell you what, there's just something about catching a big one of these muskies. Just get your just heart 
pumping. There's nothing else like it. You see a fish that'll T-bone a, a bait that's bigger than my number 14 boot over here, that's something special. <laughs> and that is one of the keys to catching these fish, is big baits. Huge baits. I don't even mess around, especially in this clear water, I don't even mess around with 10 inch grandmas and jakes anymore. It's all 13s and 14s. All right, let me get the... Uh, the hooker outer? The hooker outer. I don't know if it's quite there, but it's close. I don't, I think she just had that tail hook. One hook, rear hook. Yeah. Which is all fine with us, as long as that fish gets in the bag of the net. And those are those big baits we're talking about. I love it. <laughs> See if I can get this girl. All right, I got her. Got her? Yep. There oh, that's a nice go. blondie. Look at that one. <laughs> she is chunky too, wow. And you're not a kidding, she's a blonde one. Must have been uh, hanging out in that deeper water. What an incredible fish. James, I don't want to keep this fish out of the water too long. I'm going to get her right back where she came from. Oh, yeah. She wants to go already too. We didn't put her on the bump, but I would say that if that's not the magic number, she's really close. All right, here she goes. See you, big old blonde submarine. <laughs> There, she got her bearing. <laughs> You're like the luckiest musky dude ever. <laughs> Lots of skill involved, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, it feels good. Uh, feels good when a plan comes together. We're only an hour into this thing and we already got a nice fish in the boat. Upper 48 inch musky, first hour in. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah. All right, let's get well, lines back in the water. I got one hook to replace on uh, my bait. and She beat that one up pretty good. Oh yeah. Shallow wrap shad's a jerk bait with a secret move. When you pause, the lure slowly rises. I tell you, man, it makes fish come unglued. Authentic Series Soft Baits from Beef Fish and Tackle are just what the doctor ordered if you want to scratch your big fish itch. Available in two body styles, the Moxie Auger Tail and the Pulsar Paddle Tail offer a perfected blend of field tested color patterns and hyperactive designs that come to life in the water. To produce unparalleled fish catching movement and vibration, other soft baits just can't match. Authentex Plastics, your prescription strength cure for slow fishing, only from Beef Fish and Tackle. Everything you'd expect from a premium quality fish house and so much more. Glacier combines superior craftsmanship and premium quality materials to produce a comfortable and enjoyable mobile base camp for your next outdoor adventure. Available in a variety of models, a Glacier Ice House offers more standard features, more usable space, and a better fit and finish than the competition. Visit our website at GlacierIceHouse.com to find a dealer near you and see why a Glacier Fish House is the ultimate way to play. Last year about this time, right towards the end of the open water season, Pat and I made this same trip and we got a taste of what this type of bite has to offer. Pat boated a 51 plus, absolute gargantuan muskie that has had me absolutely jonesing to be the guy holding the big wet fish this year. <laughs> so there was no way we weren't coming back up. We did not time the conditions last year. Last year, I think it was like 55, 60 degree temperatures. Sunny, calm, not what you're looking for. You really want some really rough, cold conditions. You want that front bearing down on the lake you're fishing. For whatever reasons, muskies just behave differently. Right now, every bass in this lake is hiding somewhere, just afraid that winter's coming. Muskies just get juiced up. They're ready to eat. Um, they're just a really cool species that guys like Pat and I 
when we're not quite ready to put that boat away, they can kind of provide that last minute fix that sends us off into winter with a smile. Yes, sir. I guess if you're a pine tree, you don't get to pick where your seed falls. You just got to go with it. <laughs> this, is, this is my lot in life. Oh, we're fishing in a Bob Ross painting. Happy trees. Fish. God, he's unlikable. Completely. If it makes you feel any better, I don't think this is a great big fish. It doesn't make me feel a whole lot better. Well, maybe he is all right. My bait's clear. I'm not sure we need all this net for this fish, but... Hopefully he'll surprise us. Well, I gotta, I'm a little taller than you and I can kind of see what he is. <laughs> You're not liking what you see? He's not as big as your last one. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Even medium-sized fish eat really big baits. <laughs> <laughs> He's a chubbo. All right. Number two. Another fish on the board. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Maybe I'll just hand you the rod next time so you can see what it feels like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That hurts. Out of pure luck, I've been able to catch the first two. I'm sure James will come on strong. I only want the 54. That's a Bob Ross muskie. We were just talking about fishing in a Bob Ross painting with happy clouds and happy trees. There we go. I got the net. Okay. Not a bad one, no, though. No, no. I, I actually thought he was going to be a little bit smaller than that, but no, I'd, I'd catch him any day. Fish, yep. Pretty colors on that one and real clean, too. I think we might be in a window here. We better get this one back I'm right not away. gonna catch them with no lures in the, in the, in the water, yep. so let's go. Keep our troll going, all right. All right. I'll get this out of the way for you here. All I'll right. Try. All right, get her back. Nice, beautiful fish, and ready to go. <laughs> Oof, right to the bottom. We're not very deep here, so probably wanna throw it in the reverse. Yes, I see that. Well, cool. That's yeah. just, uh, you were just Where's, saying you've never really fished a spot before, so. No, it's a, in fact, it's a rock wall that I always drive past and never fish. Well, like we said Today earlier. I'm fishing you, it. <laughs> yeah, if you want to know where to fish, just look for the tall shorelines. It's a good place to start. Doesn't mean you're going to catch fish there for sure, but it's a nice starting point. That's one point, too. Thanks for getting that out of there, James. You're very welcome. Um, you know, for guys that are fishing the more stained water of Lake of the Woods, these big steep rock walls might not be quite as uh, prominent as say on a whitefish bay or any type of clear body of water that has trout in it that has really deep shelves. Um, so in that stained part of Lake of the Woods down by Sabascong Bay, even up towards the angle, um, you're gonna be fishing a little bit shallower water. You know, I think 10 feet of water is a pretty good starting point and you're looking for structure and you wanna be banging those rocks. So just keep that in mind, you know, it's a, Pretty good tip. It actually took me uh, a little while to figure that out when I started fishing the trout bodies of water because I was fishing way too shallow. So it's a good point for both stained bodies of water sure. and clear bodies of water. Well, Lake of the Woods is so diverse. I mean, it's, it can be almost like a Mississippi River, muddy, no clarity at all. You come up into Whitefish Bay and it's 25 foot visibility. Right. Both fish have come on the inside so far. So you telling me I need to start going the other way around? You can, how about you troll backwards? <laughs> <laughs> I got the splash guards. I there you go. <laughs> In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout. Hard fighting bass and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing.
Motorboat Center, with its flagship dealership located in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, has opened a second location in Ramsey, Minnesota, to better serve their customers. Stop in and check out the largest selection of Skeeter boats in the Upper Midwest, including an extensive inventory of MX and WX models, and a wide range of Skeeter bass boats, all backed by our best price guarantee, and serviced by Yamaha 5-star service technicians. Find us online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com. And remember, our goal is to help you have fun fishing. Shadow wrap shad's a jerk bait with a secret move. When you pause, the lure slowly rises. I tell you, man, it makes fish come unglued. Oh, that sounds like a big one. Yeah, it feels good, man. If I have to get completely outfished, boot stomped into the mud by somebody, it might as well be you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I tell you what, I'm switching over to a grandma. I'm done with the Jake. I had you run that Jake because about two weeks ago I was up here and had really good luck on it, but. Uh, times they change. Yep. I appreciate the thought though. That one absolutely dug in the brakes. Oh man. This feels like a, like an excellent fish. Pat and I don't do a lot of this trolling in the fall. Pat does more than I do, but uh, we're just using our summer rods. Uh, uh, Okuma Komodo SS reels, 80 pound test, Suffix 832. And then we're using nine foot Okuma uh, musky rods. Same stuff we cast baits all summer long. It's working well for this too. Guys that do a lot of this will fish. Fiberglass rods, a little bit softer action, but this works for us just fine. Man, he is a fighter, but he actually, I, I got to look at him, and he didn't look that big, but... Um, no, it's a good fish, buddy. Oh, that is a big one, man. Big he fish. just gator rolled. What was throwing you was just the clarity. It was so deep. Stay down. Don't do it, fish. Don't do it. Oh, that's a dinger. We can just get her up here, man. She is not wanting to tire out here here she comes you ready yep that Ooh. is a giant fish oh my gosh <sighs> oh. thank you that was a tough net job and you made it happen <laughs> i'll see if i can get her unbuttoned there quickly so she can settle down into that net oh my gosh that's what we're talking about can you hear your fishing buddy sound like that that oh my god something pretty special just see if i can just pop that last little hook out please don't thrash nope all right god. that bait's been good to me today man i'm, I'm a lucky duck let me see you're about <laughs> 140 inches plus in three fish it's been all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna get this thing out of there and let's get a better look oh, at her man that is a freaky toad I love how this is all coming together. All right. Got her? <laughs> Got her. Oh, that is a beauty. <laughs> She's bigger than I thought she that was. That is a big girl. You're shaking. You're shaking like a leaf. She's heavy. I bet. You know, for us to come up here on one day's notice and to literally try and get a show in one day, fishing for muskies is a feat in itself, and we've caught some really quality fish. That's why we're here, Look, because the conditions are perfect. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. It's a it's giant, just man. Just an awesome day. Glad to share it with you. Ooh. Oh, she wanted to go already. See you later. <sighs> Straight back to the deep. How's your hands? They're cold They're really slimy. slimy. I threw two slime rags here in the boat today. Where are they at? You can dry off yeah, a little bit. I stowed them away, but. That Jake's got to go. I've seen enough. I need a grandma. I Something that's similar to what you're fishing. If you've got one, I'm I, putting it on. I got one. Perfect. <laughs> Change baits, and I mean four minutes of trolling. 
and I got a fish already. This is nuts. I tell you what, this is what musky fishermen live for right here. This scenario, the planning, see it on the, the weather forecast, what's coming, and get out here and make it happen. Pat, I'm swinging to your side okay. if I can. Yep. Feels like a good heavy fish. When you see that rod just double over and you're not sure if you're snagged until you see that second head shake, that's when you know it's going to be a good fish. <laughs> this is unbelievable, man. Yep. I'm going to grab the net. <laughs> it's crazy the, that he switched baits like that and you caught one. It was like four minutes. Yeah. The fish like me again. <laughs> Ooh. I don't like this part right now. Yeah, he's rolling. There he is. Yeah, he's pretty high on the surface. I don't like it. Try and Stay bury down. that rod tip. <laughs> oh, just T-boned it. Look at the bait is sideways like a dog would grab a bone. That's a big fish, man. Wait till you see where this bait is in this fish's mouth. Yes. We got her. Woo! <laughs> This is awesome. It was feeling a little lonely on this side of the boat there for a while. This is, I mean, when it comes together like this, there's yes. not much of a better feeling, especially for a musky guy. I mean, it's, you spend a lot of days on the water where you're scratching your head, and when it all comes together, it's yep. so rewarding. You don't get very many four fish days, but when you have a four, four fish morning, that's a pretty good deal. Get all up in there. You be good to me, I'm going to be good to you. I don't want to damage her in any way. You grab that, that'd be great. Yep. Oh. Another chunker, man. Chunker! <laughs> They're all just beautiful blondies. What a fish. That's awesome. That was a pretty cool 10 minute stretch of my day. <sighs> I dig it. All right, back in the water she goes. Absolutely no worse for the wear. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, she's going. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. Awesome. Ah, it's an awesome deal. Now I just want to keep catching them. <laughs> well, let's do that. <laughs> Authentic Series Soft Baits from Beef Fish and Tackle are just what the doctor ordered if you want to scratch your big fish itch. Available in two body styles, the Moxie Auger Tail and the Pulsar Paddle Tail offer a perfected blend of field tested color patterns and hyperactive designs that come to life in the water. To produce unparalleled fish catching movement and vibration, other soft baits just can't match. Authentex Plastics, your prescription strength cure for slow fishing, only from Beef Fish and Tackle. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels, and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection, everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry-leading five-year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. Fish, fish, fish. Unbelievable. Definitely been a program today. We just spent two hours fishing a reef that's normally really good. And for whatever reason, the shoreline structure has been, that's what's been working. The fish know what they want. <laughs> Unbelievable day. Unbelievable. It is. It's just, I mean, you couldn't ask for more. I mean, really. The size of the fish has been good. Nonstop action all day. Mm -hmm. so we've had six rips. If this one comes in the boat, that's five fish in the boat. Unbelievable musky day. I barely had my rod in the water. Oh yeah. I mean, we just switched spots and she's staying down. I'm just getting a look at her. It's another good one. Holy smokes, Pat. Woo! Woo! Hooks yeah! off, hooks off. Oh. What a day, man. What a day. I saw those hooks come out and it was just like, ah! What fish in the day. bag. 
We got that front coming in. I know we've said it a bunch of times today, but I mean, that's just what timing these trips can do. I yep. mean, if you come up here and it's flat, calm and sunny and warm, you're just not gonna have the lucky will when you got weather on your side. We're feeling it here on location because it's mid afternoon and it feels like it's about 20 minutes to sundown. The clouds are so thick, that storm is rolling in. These fish are fired up. I mean, we've had five fish in the yeah, boat today that big 230 fish. inch, I mean, I don't know how many, come, it doesn't even matter. They're that just thing's all, a gargantuan. I know, just it's the, the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> wow. Oh man. If you hand me that uh, bait, I'll get that rod out of the way. You got it? Bait. Okay, let her swing, I got it. All right, let's see what we got here. I think it's a muskie. <laughs> Pretty sure. Smells like one, looks like one. Ooh. I'm just gonna sit right here with her. Yeah, because because you have much of a choice, right? Ooh. Pat, that is a giant. Look at Ooh. that fish. What a day. What a day. We've had some remarkable days on the ice and the water here at In-Depth Outdoors. This is one of the tops for sure. Oh. Let's get that fish back in the water. We're gonna close the day, we're done. Anything more would be greedy. I <laughs> fish, I can't believe it. Uh, just speechless, literally yep. speechless. What a day. Oh, look at that. Uh, look, I mean, look at this. That's a 50 inch fish. They release so well in this cold water. See, oh. Everything about it was perfect. So here's where we're at. Uh, we're about to get dumped on by about 12 to 15 inches of snow. Uh, obviously that's not gonna make ice. It sure made these muskies bite. But uh, we're definitely gonna be back out on the boat next week, unless we drive way west to go uh, hang out with Andy Fiolka or something yeah. like that. I have no idea what the next bite will be. I do know it's not gonna be in a boat in Northern Minnesota, not after what's coming. Right. So this is one of those episodes where Everything came together. I've never had musky fishing like this again. We will definitely try to repeat it, but it'll be a long time before anybody ever sees something like this again yeah. on In-Depth Outdoors. So for everybody that tuned in this week, thanks for watching. We will see you next week. Mr. McSherry, that was the stuff. Unbelievable. That's the cherry on top right there. Let's keep going. <laughs> For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.